Today we're going to be turning this mini Jeep into an electric monster. This is my friend Taylor's mini Jeep. He said, Tyler, the Jeep is cool. It's just not nearly scary enough. So we're going to be putting not one, but two electric dirt bike motors in it. Our first step is evaluating its performance with the gas motor in it. No! My favorite part about gas motor is going on a scenic drive like that. It's so peaceful. Okay, these actually have a lot of power. Two of these is gonna be nuts. <laughs> I love small projects. The teardown only took about an hour. We got all the good parts on the table here that we're gonna use. Let's go over our game plan. We need to combine both electric motors into one output to go to the axle on the Jeep. These batteries are huge and super heavy, but there's a great spot for them at the back of the Jeep, which might help us do some wheelies. And keep in mind, we're gonna have two electric motors that have braking built in, and that's gonna stop us all on its own. I just want to say you don't need fancy equipment to build stuff like this. I had to bore the holes out on these sprockets by hand with a carbide bit. Look at how close to true they are. This one wobbles a little bit but that is totally fine. When a chain is flying around at full speed, it acts more fluid than you would think. The force of it being flung keeps it perfectly straight. Holy smokes, I got the first motor in. Check this out. We got a chain tensioning system there. The whole motor is bolted to this, which slides on this plate here. And this can push the motor to tighten the chain up. That is so slick. It looks great.
Yes! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's working. This is really exciting. It's always good to do a baseline test when you can. So right now, before we move the batteries to the back and wire it all in, we're gonna test each motor separately and then test them together. I wired both throttle signals together and sometimes that can cause some problems with like feedback and stuff. So we're gonna test them separately to make sure everything's good to go. Top motor, we got power. And this is how you activate the motor for some reason. Oh, it's working, it's working. Oh, no way. It sounds like a roller coaster. All right, the front motor works. We're gonna turn on the rear, or the bottom motor, I should say. Yes, it's alive. <laughs> okay, they're both on. Oh, no way. Let's top her out. 77 kilometers per hour, okay. Let's put the batteries in. Oh yeah. Oh, that fits so good. Awesome. In order to power all the 12 volt things on the Jeep, I've got these two parts here. This is a relay that's gonna take the full 80 volts from the battery and just cut it on and off. And this is just a converter. It's gonna take the voltage from 80 to 12 so we can use it. Oh yeah, check it out. Throttle works so good. Yeah. It's actually turning out to be kind of a clean build. The Mini Jeep is completely done. I wanted to save the first drive until it was totally buttoned up. I'm so excited to drive this thing. I'm literally shaking. No, you're not. Here's the firing sequence. Motor one, motor two, 12 volt system, underglow, activation switch. Ah! <laughs> it works, hold up. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. <laughs> All right, let's go outside. There's one small issue right away. This top chain came loose. Don't know why. I'm gonna tighten it up, see if it holds. Let's see what kind of torque she's got climbing this trailer. Oh yeah. Oh, it doesn't care at all, dude. Yes, sir. We got everything loaded up. We're gonna drop it off at Taylor's, but on the way, we're gonna stop by Cody's place and test it some more. Hopefully we don't break it there though. Bought a new car to take the roof off. Got a couple Ooh. <laughs> So slick. Turning her on. We got full batteries. It's so silent and quiet. I think I'm just gonna putt a little bit. I'm not gonna push my luck right away, you know? Oh! Oh! 
Bro, that is insane. It has no problem doing a wheelie at all. It just, that was like half throttle. You're like 45 degrees, <laughs> straight up. Okay, so I was like thinking about putting a wheelie bar on it and then I'm like, nah, it's not gonna do a wheelie. You might need one. <laughs> Someone's gonna shot. You might just need one. Oh, the asphalt, it just grips. Let's do one more. Is that four wheel drive? No, I wish. Dude, the next one we have to make four wheel drive. Imagine like cyclones with it. God. <laughs> that was like 150 feet. Brady hasn't seen it at all yet. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it. Well, it's, it's underwhelming. Is it really? Yeah. It only does wheelies for like a thousand feet. Okay, that's actually pretty. Yeah, well, I thought that's it would do 2,000. <laughs> I'm well at that fact. <laughs> Hit the ramp, dude. You got a ramp here. I think I can clear the truck. <laughs> I think I'd lose my spine. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It goes up, whatever. It doesn't care at all. Oh my. <laughs> Our first trail side obstacle. Oh yeah. No problem, dude. It's got two of those motors in it. I want one. Dude, check out. Check out how slick this trailer is. Isn't that awesome? No ramps. I were pulling up to Taylor's place. If he asks, we, we didn't drive it at all. Right, here's what we did. Yeah, give me the rundown here of how this thing works. It's super easy. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> 